Hello again everyone. In this video I'm going to be showing you a really awesome guitar enhancement on this Dean Custom Zone. Well, it used to be a Dean Custom Zone. Uh, for those of you guys that may be unfamiliar with the Dean Custom Zone, it's basically just a cheap guitar that Dean uh, put together brightly colored with plastic fretboards around 100 to 150 US dollars. They're pretty cool guitars. Um, obviously the plastic fretboard is, you know, pretty unique. It doesn't feel awesome, but it definitely doesn't take away from being able to play, you know, guitar normally. It doesn't hinder anything, it doesn't slow you down. Uh, it's kind of a cool design. Unconventional, but cool. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you my enhancements to it. Uh, we're going to be changing the pickups. We're going to be changing uh, the rollers on the bridge. We're going to be upgrading volume knobs to speed knobs uh, that are lime green. Uh, they came with original black ones, but I kind of want to go like crazy with the lime green. I like the color, if you can't tell. <laughs> Um, so we're going to be adding some, a little bit more neon green into this as well. Uh, one thing that I've already done is I've stained the neck black and then etched out some of the paint with, uh, with some steel wool. The neck is regularly just a, you know, plain Jane maple neck. Um, so I decided to kind of spruce it up a little bit, make it kind of look a little different. Um, so we're going to be looking at, um, some of the stuff that we're going to be kind of putting into this guitar. I have here a set of Dragonfire Hexbucker pickups. Uh, they're humbuckers, um, obviously. They're very cheap pickups. They're very budget-worthy pickups. For a guitar like this, this is the ideal pickup for real. They're $50 brand new on Reverb.com, and that's from the actual company themselves, Dragonfire. Um, and I actually have a video where I'm just talking about these guys, so go check that out if you want to as well. Um, I also have here a roller. I'll kind of throw in a little bit bigger picture so that you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, but basically this is going to help with the intonation and bends in the guitar. I've also done a video on why these are very important for not only bridges like these, but tunematic bridges as well. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please check it out. So let's kind of see what this guitar is going to get done to it. All right, everybody, the guitar is all finished up here. Let's talk about all the modifications we had done here. So. The first thing that I did was get some speed knobs from JAT Custom Guitar Parts. It's almost the same color green, it's just off enough for you to not notice it though. <laughs> the rubber on the outside makes it super speedy. These guys are awesome, man, they're super cool looking, very clean. Then we have the rollers on the bridge here. The gold roller is a very nice touch with all of the black, uh, super black hardware, very shiny, looks great, sounds great. I already intonated them. They're wonderful. Make sure you check out my video on why these are very necessary for your guitars. And lastly, we have the Dragonfire Hexbucker pickups. Their output is very gnarly at 15.6K. These guys are really pushing the envelope. They sound amazing, installed them, and man, they just blew my head right off. Let's kind of check out what it's all going to sound like. Thank you. 
right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this awesome video on a cool Dean Custom Zone guitar enhancement. If you have any questions about any of the gear or any methods used in this video, please leave a comment below. I'll be sure to get back to you. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.